Hello everyone, welcome back to Factorio, or just welcome if this is the first video that you're seeing. Um, this is Ryan from Tangerine Music Labs, and I just finished a campaign with Angels Ores, uh, Bob's Mods, and Yoki Industries for the game Factorio. And, uh, yeah, and <laughs> it's about 80 hours worth of streaming footage. Um, but, uh, we started from scratch, and we built all this, this whole thing from scratch. There's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of mods, a lot of stuff to connect together. Uh, but I had a lot of fun, uh, especially since I was doing it with the, um, circle belt configuration. So we have these three lines here. One is a product line, one is an ore line, and then one, uh, is fuel and ammunition which basically goes around the entire factory and we're running our whole thing um, from the system. Now, uh, making circle belts is pretty unusual in the Factoria world, but the theory behind this campaign was that uh, if we do things this way, we'd be able to make most use of our space and resources. and. You know, even though this factory looks really, really big, if we did the standard gameplay style, which is bussing everything into individual lines, it would have been a lot more huge, huger, huge, huger, yeah, huger. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to do a quick tour of the factory in case um, people would be interested in watching the campaign itself. So I'm gonna start here. This is the most coolest thing, I think, I think in the, um, factory. This was, uh, submitted to me by one of my viewers, uh, Bormoth, who made this combinator. So, basically, uh, the first question, well, the first thing when people come into my streams is that they say, What is wrong with everything? Why is there so much crap on your belt? And then, you know, if they haven't left by then, then uh, the second thing they ask is, how do you keep your, um, uh, their in report, uh, the, the uh, input resources under control? So this is what we use. Um, it's a fish common here, because somewhere on this line, there's a fish swimming around in all of the ores. And if we're lucky, we, maybe we can spot it somewhere. Well, right now, not right now, but but basically, if you look on the bottom right there, we have a bunch of numbers, and it's just scanning everything that goes through this line here, and this goes in a circle, right? Because it's a circle belt. So, the f once the fish passes passes through, it resets the counter, and when the counter is reset, then uh, you know we know how much things are going on the belt per cycle. So this thing works in cycles rather than some other thing that you might use. So, yeah, kind of got to get through here. I'm going to put the fish in. Where'd this fish? Oh, there's the fish. There you go. So yeah, see the number reset. So uh, now we have two fishes in here, and then I'm gonna have to fish out the the fish out the. the sorry, uh, I'm gonna have to fish out the fish because <laughs> there's two of them. But it's okay because uh, this is just a demo video, so not really playing much. Um, this is the ammo and fuel line, so we have a lot of coal and carbon and some missiles and this and some pink things which is good to eat uh yeah just lots of stuff you know and what this lets us do is by having the um fuel and ammo line on, on the same belt uh we can expand our defenses indefinitely anywhere without the use of power right now you know power is not really an issue but uh you know there's certain uh, points in the game where I wanted to expand the base, but didn't want to draw up the um, power line um, So we can use burner inserters To just power all of these and just build our robots and you know, just build anywhere Have some missiles going on there. Lots of these candy bits 
this is the ore sorting area. Um, basically, it loads everything from here, puts it in this loop. Everything in this factory is a loop. So, and what we have is the uh, circuit network conditions here that uh, da, da, da. It, it specifies how much of the, uh, these things we want in the loading bay at all times. So, you know, that's basically how you... I mean, there's more to the details, but that's basically how you keep things under uh, control. You use uh, conditions. Okay, here's the armory. This thing is kind of fun here, the um, Yuoki farming. <laughs> basically, we're making corn. Turning corn. Making corn from corn seeds and water, and then we're turning it into vegetable oil, which then turns into lubricant. So that's kind of fun, yeah. Would have liked to expand this a little bit more, but I think I'll do that next time. Here's some power from the Yoki mod. Here's the science area, and this is also in a loop. So I have two belts going on here. One is the products that you need to make the science packs themselves, and then uh, this is the where we actually pick up the science packs. Uh, so, like these has all the components we need to make uh, dark blue science, and uh, yeah, we can keep it kind of isolated so that it's uh, researching in its own separate area. Uh, what else? Here's all the uh, angels ores smelting and uh, refining process. Yeah, this is a very long chain, and it's just, um, and everything starts from just crushing this uh, sapphire right here. Okay, here is the analysis area. So I work with a lot of data in my day job, and I kind of applied um, ideas from that into this game. So uh, basically, all this is doing is uh, sampling the belt randomly. We have one thing that picks it up and then another thing to put it down. And this gets tied into the logistic network. Uh, you see in the bottom right there, you can see everything that we have. Um, here's a complete list if we want to, you know, really get into details. But uh, all of this is doing is, is sampling on the belt randomly. And then we have our inputs um, here tied to the logistic network. So, for example, here. So, if, if the analysis, analysis area detects a uh, iron uh, plate at any time, this thing will shut off automatically and make sure that it doesn't overload the belt. So, the nice thing about this is that because it's random, we don't have to specify the inputs, and we can just keep on adding more and more if we need more information. So it's very scalable, and it doesn't matter what um, item type it's picking up because everything goes into the logistic network, and you can tie anything you want. So if if you make a new type of product, then you know just make sure you set your input to the right number, and it'll do everything automatically. That's probably the most useful thing that I made in this campaign. Uh, yeah, if I'm proud of anything, that's probably be the thing. Uh, here's the electronics area. So this is an isolated loop as well that contains all of the electronic parts you need to make modules and um, robots and various other things. And I was a little worried at first that, you know, how are you going to fit all this? This is like over 50, 50 different things, but I managed to fit everything in one belt using the same system as back there so that worked out pretty well um yeah i'm getting these super fancy modules here yeah i already have four i should use no i'm not playing the game anymore but uh if i were oh yeah i forgot this is the um yoki industries uh <laughs> setup it's um probably not quite like you're not supposed to play the game this way, but I thought it'd be fun to try to, um... Just, like, see... I called it the Octopus Factory. They destroyed my title. The Biters destroyed my title, so I don't have that anymore, but... 
uh, it's called an octopus factory because it looks like kind of octopus and everything's connected to here using circuit network conditions and we just have everything limited to a certain amount and oops I accidentally shot that hmm it's okay nobody needs to know but anyway uh yeah so you know we have a bunch of stuff in here we have one of everything that we need also a bunch of stuff here for more advanced things and then this sea of inserters puts things down and places it where it needs to go and it um, it works <laughs> okay yeah uh, I should have documented everything here but it works and uh, yeah it's kind of looks kind of interesting because it's like a growth like it's more organic looking than a factory you know I'd say so it really, I don't know, it kind of fits the um, style of the mod as well, I thought. Okay, fun times. Now this is all... That's included, not all, this is about 80% of what's included in the Angel's Petrochem mod. So if you're interested in playing that mod, you should prepare yourself to <laughs> go through this madness. You know, like how many different liquid types are there? And you have to make sure everything is balanced or it will, you know, it'll bottleneck somewhere and shut down. In the end, it was kind of like turning into a puzzle game where I had to figure out how I'm going to get that thing. If I needed to get this thing over here, how am I going to do that without the pipes crossing? Well, you know, well, I could go like this and oh no, that's not going to work because that's Oh, if I go, uh, uh, oh no, no, that's gonna mix up. So yeah, you know, <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, uh, yep. Here's Angel's bioprocessing. Turn algae into wood and whatnot. That's a smaller mod. It's kind of neat, but uh, not as in, uh, comprehensive as the other ones. Uh, more. Oh yeah, I'm digging dirt. So this is another you okay thing. You dig dirt and you turn dirt into useful things and that's what I've been doing. Oh yeah, I have a the belt. Uh the belt splitter and underground belt production here. I, I don't know how I managed to do this, but I have everything I need here. I managed to <laughs> connect everything up through here. And can make it all go down like this. You know, this would, wouldn't be possible without the circle belt because we have so many different items on um, each belt that we can pull from. So it wasn't an issue. You know, we can all. The nice thing about it is that we can pull anything we want from here, and it works really well with um, games where you want to make a little bit of everything. And since I, there's so many mods I'm using here, it's uh, yeah, we have a little bit of everything. Everything is everywhere, and you can get it at any time. Here is a train. So I made this funky little uh, coastal base here. I'm going to call the train back. And this is where... Look on the map here. We have a naval outpost. Two things I wanted to do. I wanted to get to this island. Because, you know, islands are cool. I've never seen that before in this game. And we also needed uh, this thermal water here. So I had to get out of my base and go all the way here and then set up an outpost. And we also got some uh, jibalite and such here. So let's go. Uh, naval outpost. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, you have no idea how long this took. <laughs> I do landfill a straight line all the way across here. Oh, wow. I have a lot of candy on my belt. I uh, wasn't expecting this. <laughs> that would explain why my uh, base has been slowly falling apart. But anyway, it looks kind of funny. 
So, and I'm not really playing the game, so it doesn't really matter. So here's thermal water we've been trying to extract. And here's the jungle outpost space. I made sure, you know, everything's kept most of the trees. Here's a bug ranch, caged ranch. Uh, I don't want, I don't want that thing. Oh man, this is a mess. Oh, ah. So here's the secret mine. I put in some uh, pollution cleaning modules so they won't in. Ow. No, oh, no, let's get out of here. So they wouldn't attack me like this, but it's too late. Oh man, it's saving every five minutes. Okay, well, let's go back to civilization where it's nice and safe. Yeah, everything's exploding. <laughs> but we don't need that place anymore, so it's not that big a deal. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, don't leave without me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this campaign was a lot of fun. I had um, uh, Archangel, the uh, creator of the Angels mod, uh, actually came in during my stream as well. So I also got a uh, couple of uh, Reddit threads on uh, building uh, server belt factories. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's kind of neat to to see that uh you know there are some interest in uh my uh style of play which is a little unusual by more, most standards i'd say but yeah so anyway yeah i'm gonna think i'm gonna cut the uh video here but if you're interested in how it started and how we got to all the way here uh yeah there's a lot of uh, videos you can watch to see the process. So, yep, I'm hoping to see you soon. And thanks a lot for watching if you've been watching the stream. And I'm hoping, you know, you also take a look at the videos as well. So, uh, yep, take care and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.